The Minecraft community is changing as of late, and it has been for some time now. Unfortunately, this change that I'm talking about is not for the better, but it's now to the point where the Minecraft community doesn't really feel like a community at all anymore. And there's a very specific reason for that that I will be getting into here. Because in the modern day Minecraft community, it doesn't feel like a place where you can share ideas anymore. And what I want to start with here is how we know that it's actually changed. And the best way that I found to explain this was with a bit of backstory. So, it's not every day that you happen to stumble across a video of someone going through something very similar to what you yourself are going through at that time. And yet, that's pretty much what happened to me the other day. I stumbled upon a series of videos made by a YouTuber named White Light. Specifically, the videos that I watched were another serious critique of Minecraft, the perfect update for Minecraft, and a serious improvement for Minecraft. One of these being a quite well done critique, and the other two basically being pitches of ideas for what could be added to Minecraft. In their videos, White Light pitched a lot of potential improvements for Minecraft, like a different version of survival mode that has actual dynamic systems in it. There were a lot of incredible ideas put out there in these videos, and I do highly recommend going to watch them. Still, a lot of these ideas were a lot more game-changing than improvements that people pitch for Minecraft nowadays. They were a lot more extreme, a lot more out there, game-breaking, some might even say. Except, here's the funny thing. When I looked into the comment sections of those videos, most people in there weren't upset by the ideas proposed or weren't hating on White Light. They were excited at the prospect of changing the game, of making it better suited for people who like different play styles than just building. And what needs to be noted about these two videos that were suggesting these improvements, they were both about four years old. You might start to see where I'm going with this, but if you look at more modern criticisms of Minecraft now, or people suggesting new ideas they think could improve the game, for example that Jet Starfish video I just talked about. In general, whenever someone tries to suggest improvements or things that Minecraft could do better, or point out the flaws of Minecraft as a game, they are met with a lot more hate and toxicity. And looking at some of the older videos like White Lights, you can see it wasn't like that before always. Something changed in the community. People got more close-minded, less open to change. Every time they would see any suggestion that would alter the game in a meaningful way, they would hate on it. And thankfully not everyone is like this, but a lot more people are now, and it's concerning. Contrary to what others might have you believe, the Minecraft community's greatest enemy isn't Mojang. It's other people in the community. It's us. It used to be much rarer for people to do videos responding to criticisms of Minecraft or people suggesting improvements for the game. Videos of any kind of negative response to those sorts of videos was way less common. And I just talked about a great example of this in my previous video with Jet Starfishes and the Hazes videos. This is a very good and very recent and modern example of this problem at its strongest. People suggesting ways to improve the game. People making responses that are just hating on that person or trying to put them down making an entirely negative video and saying nothing positive in it. Any good parts of the original video getting ignored or just skipped over. And here's what happens when you create an entirely negative video like that. What does it do? 
it creates more hate, more negativity, and more toxicity within the Minecraft community as a reaction to that. Videos just trashing on other people in the Minecraft community are the absolute last thing that we need right now. Again, going back to that example with Jet Starfish and the Haze, the people who watched that video, the response video, they weren't very kind after that, were they? No, most of them then went and were hateful to Jet, the creator of the critique. Negativity is always sure to create more negativity as a reaction. If you make a video where the entire thing is just trashing on another person's video relentlessly, you are going to make the community a worse place than it would have been before. But, with this dynamic in mind, there is a fair question that we need to ask here. Is it really the community that's changed, or is it the critiques that have? I mean, the community has absolutely changed, but as for the critiques, that varies quite substantially. You have people like White White who is still just made another good Minecraft critique, and The Geek Factor also doing good critiques. They're not really focused on flashiness at all, but focused on the actual discussion itself, like what I aspire to do with my videos. That being said, some critiques aren't necessarily like that anymore. There is a fair amount now that are just focused more on flashiness and editing and visual effects, and they care more about being concise to the point and extreme to generate more hype or get more views in YouTube, because sadly that's just kind of become a sort of ongoing standard in YouTube, where if you don't have, you know, something flashing on the screen every few seconds, or something to keep people entertained like subway surfers going at the bottom of the screen, people will usually get bored and click off. You typically have to be a bit over the top to maintain people's excitement and interest. And that is a problem that goes very far beyond just the Minecraft community, of course, but it also affects it quite heavily here. Even in these sorts of videos, though, you can still find some good arguments sometimes. Good editing and conciseness don't necessarily equal a bad argument, but they can redirect the creator's focus away from the argument itself. But with all of that said, it is still honestly just disheartening to see people always trying to put each other down in what's supposed to be a community. And then not only are a lot of people okay with this, but they fall for those kind of hate videos and they get excited and start to see someone else in the community as a villain. In no way is it healthy for a community. So why do people do it? Well, for one, sometimes probably out of just sheer frustration and rage, and two, probably out of greed for views and money. Videos with more negative titles and thumbnails have a tendency to get more views on YouTube, at least in the Minecraft community. But now, we should ask, where or what is all of this hate and all of this fighting coming from? Well, it's something that I've come to call the argument of supremacy. It's people trying to argue that one, or typically their favorite major aspect of Minecraft, is more important than all of the others, and deserves more attention because it's the supreme aspect. Needless to say, the argument of supremacy is a major cause of this. Not necessarily the only one, but definitely a large part of it. The argument of supremacy at its fundamentals doesn't bring people together like a community, it tears them apart. It is the literal death of community, and that's why it fuels so many debates, and that's why the Minecraft community is so toxic now. At least a very large part of the reason for that. And 
Fortunately, again, not everyone is like that in the Minecraft community, which I am very grateful for. And now finally, what I find is most likely to be able to bring the Minecraft community back together is what I call the rule of inclusivity. This is the idea that all already existing aspects of Minecraft deserve respect and attention from Mojang. As the name would suggest, it's something that's meant to bring communities together, and perhaps it could do that for the Minecraft community. But, of course, that would require people to agree on something, which is quite hard now because controversy always gets views. But right now, the Minecraft community is kind of going down a dark path. Hopefully, it will turn around at some point soon. Thank you for watching if you've made it to this point. Please consider spreading the word, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.